Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if it's the first time you are visiting. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you haven't already guessed by the title, I have a very exciting video for you or it's exciting to me anyway. It is a fragrance haul or new fragrances within my collection. And as you probably already know, I'm a collector slash hoarder. So that is my excuse for having so many new fragrances coming to my collection. But if you do want to see the fragrances that I have hauled recently, then please do keep on watching. The first fragrance that I want to talk to you about is one that I am so excited to finally have in my collection. I have been lusting after this one for quite some time and I took myself over to Selfridges. I sniffed it and it was love at first sniff. So I knew then and there that I had to purchase it. And it is none other by Dress Van Norton Sui Malakis. And this bottle is absolutely breathtaking. I was lusting after it so much because of the bottle at first. And I was hoping that the juice inside would live up to the expectations of the bottle too. And it did not disappoint. One thing I will say is this smelt completely different on the paper test strip to how it smelt on my skin. So please do make sure that you test fragrances on your skin because more often than not, they always pull a little bit differently. So what does the juice of Sue Malakis smell like? This is the most gorgeous, silky, floral, fruity and nutty scent in my collection. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. And as the name suggests, it really does have a silky quality to it. It's so hard to explain what that means, but it's so smooth and silky. I don't know how else to explain it. I think you just have to test it to understand what I mean. So let me just spray this in the air quickly. This is so gorgeous. So initially I'm hit with a blast of juicy black current. And then you also have this citrusy bergamot in the opening. But where this really gets interesting is that silk note or what I think is the silk note within the composition. Because this smells like nothing else I have in my collection and I just find it so intoxicating and I always want to go and reach for it. But the note that had me really excited was the chestnut. I absolutely love chestnut in a fragrance. It brings such a buttery, smooth, nutty gourmand edge to this fragrance. It has a dusting of cacao in it and it also has rose. And the vibe I get from this is I'm wearing the most beautiful silk dress, maybe a slip dress or just a beautiful silk dress in general. I have loose and tousled hair. My skin is very well moisturized. The sun is shining and I'm walking through the most beautiful floral gardens. Now, I wouldn't say Sway Melakis is a floral fragrance. To me, I mostly pick out that black currant. It's juicy, but not too tart. And then you get this nice kind of silky, slightly nutty, slightly creamy vibe to it in the base. It is one to be experienced. If you can get a sample of this, I would highly recommend. But yeah, this is just definitely a love at first sniff. Plus love at first sight, to be honest, because it has to be maybe the most beautiful bottle in my collection. That's a huge statement, but I think it's incredible and it's nice and weighted. So I'm gonna stop rambling about this one. It's a haul, I don't wanna go into too much detail, but Sway Malachis definitely has my heart. The next fragrance has me super excited and I haven't reached for it much yet just due to the weather. I feel like this one is more of a spring summer scent and it is Sun Bleached by Unite Nomad. And you probably know by now, I absolutely love the brand Unite Nomad. I think the quality of the fragrances are so amazing for the price point. You can buy anything from 100 mil, 50 mil, 25 mil to a 10 mil, even 2.5 mil samples. Wow, that was a mouthful. And they have not disappointed so far in terms of the fragrances that I have sniffed. So Sun Bleach, I feel like is gonna be one of the best easy reach fragrances for spring, summer. The name kind of sums it up, but what I get from this is a beautiful kind of musky, ambrette, clean, but salty fragrance 
with a citrus burst. And the bergamot in the opening makes this a very fresh fragrance. And I'm normally not drawn to those type of fresh scents. If you think about like Dolce & Gabbana light blue, that's what I would class as a fresh scent. But this does definitely go in a different direction. It has white florals, it has ambrette, it has vanilla, it has a linen note. It has my trusty favorite of cardamom, and then it has like sandalwood and musks in the base. And I really do pick out a salty vibe from this. I'm not sure quite why and where that comes from. It's not like super dense and salty like some of the fragrances on the market, but it just reminds me of a Riviera or a beach fragrance because it feels like sunshine in a bottle. It's very uplifting. It's very fresh and clean. I think so many of you are gonna like this one. If you've watched my video, Clean Girl Aesthetic Recommendations, then this definitely slots in very well into that category. The notes that you will pick out the most, or the notes that I pick out the most at least, is definitely the bergamot up top, and then it opens with some white flowers. You have the ambrette that is definitely front stage and center. You pick up the cardamom, you pick up the musk, and then you definitely get a little bit of woodiness, specifically sandalwood in the base. And overall, it just gives this beautiful kind of sun is shining, the skin is glistening, and I just think it's going to be perfect for spring summer, as I already mentioned. So I would highly recommend you checking out Sun Bleach from Un Night Nomad, and I will review it in more detail in a video to come. The next fragrance is from Nishani, and it is Temp Flo. And I can imagine so many of you really enjoying this one. It is definitely a dominant orange blossom fragrance, and it also has jasmine citruses up top, and it's a potent fragrance. And if you love the DNA of something like YSL Libre, I think you would absolutely love Temp Floor, but it goes in a different direction for sure. It has this beautiful praline note in there. And I would also say that it has similarities to Mugler's Alien, the old formulation. However, again, this one is stronger, at least to me anyway. It is so potent, absolutely sticks to my skin like glue. And this will definitely get the compliments because I've said this many times before, Orange Blossom is definitely trending right now. It's a very likable and mass appealing note. And I feel like it's very appealing to the opposite sex. At least that's my experience anyway. But Temp Floro is mostly Orange Blossom and Jasmine. I would say the Orange Blossom is a little bit more prominent than the Jasmine, but it's a white floral fragrance. It has some praline that cuts through and it makes this beautiful and sweet. And then you have some mandarin orange, some bergamot, has a little bit of saffron in there too, which definitely gives it a more luxurious edge. And then it has kind of like a vanillic woody dry down. But if you like fragrances like YSL Lieb and you like Mugler's Alien, but you wanna go for something niche, then I would highly recommend trying to sample Temp Floor by Nishani because it is such a beautiful creation and very different from the brand too. Next up, we have EBK's Deep and Desire Yacht. And I am so happy to have this in my collection because this is a DNA that I absolutely adore. I've discussed this already in a different video, but I have Florier Cous One Umbrella for Two in my collection. And so many of you left comments saying I absolutely needed to try Deep and Desire Yacht and your preference was for this fragrance over One Umbrella for Two. So naturally I was extremely curious because One Umbrella for Two is definitely one of my favorite fragrances. And when I saw the notes of Deep and Desire Yacht, and I saw that it had notes of grapes, dark chocolate, and hazelnut. So I was like, I need this in my life. What I will say is it is at least 95% similar to One Umbrella for Two, minus that kind of green tea rice note in the opening. Whereas I think Deep and Desire Yacht is a lot more juicy and a lot more tart. This smells like the purple grape drinks that you get over in Japan. So delicious, so fruity, and I am absolutely obsessed with it. Do I need both? Yes. Do you need both? I'm not sure. It depends how much you love the scent profile. But to me, the grape note is super prominent. However, it does pull like a dark berry. So I can see why they are so similar. You could almost mistake that grape note for being more of a blackberry or a blueberry for sure. 
It smells like a beautiful dark berry pie that's been baking. The syrup is really gooey and you get kind of like a buttery vibe from it too. I'm not sure if I pick out the dark chocolate. It is definitely a gourmand, but I don't find it sickly. However, you really need to enjoy your sweet fragrances because like I said, it's very syrupy. It smells like all of the kind of dark fruits slash grapes. They have been cooked down into a beautiful dense syrup and they are cooking in some kind of buttery crusty pie. That is the vibe I get from it anyway. I think it's absolutely delicious and I highly recommend this one. Now, EBK is a little bit difficult to buy. You have to do it either via their website, so there's an email address, or you can contact them on one of their social media accounts. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop the details in the description box below to tell you the best way to get in touch with them. But yeah, I absolutely love this one. So thank you for everyone in the comments who put me onto this one, because you were right, as always. Next up, we have Narciso Rodriguez for her, and this is the EDP version. I also do love the EDT, and I wanted to pick this up because I think it's such a brilliant designer fragrance. It would be a very easy reach for me, and I think it just smells great, to be quite honest with you. For her, it's really difficult to describe because I feel like it blossoms differently on everyone's skin chemistry. But for me, it's a beautiful floral musky fragrance. It's got a peach note in there too, but don't think of this as a fruity kind of peach. It's definitely a more powdered peach. It definitely smells very alluring and sexy to me, but I think that about a lot of musk fragrances in general. But what I mostly get from this is just a beautiful kind of powdered soft floral fragrance with a little bit of peach. And then the dry down is a very light amber mixed with musk. But if you're on a hunt for a really great designer fragrance, head over to the Narciso Rodriguez counter because hopefully there will be something there to suit you. I think the quality is sublime and it has just this really cool aesthetic to it as well. But yeah, I just wanted to pick up for her. I used to own this years ago and I was missing it within my collection. The next fragrance is by Juice Perfumes and this one is Spicy Delice. And I have mentioned this once already, but I did say that I would give a more detailed review and also share how I feel about it other than just a first impressions. It has cloves, it has cinnamon, it has nutmeg, it also has cardamom, it has pink pepper. So it's a very spicy fragrance. It has a zesty ginger note in here too, which is a note I just absolutely love in fragrances. I just think this is so, so good. I love the spicy quality to it. It could almost give me a spiced panettone vibe too, but this time it's a lot more zesty. So that ginger note 100% cuts through the spices. I love the additional note of pink pepper in here too, but then it dries down into the most beautiful amber wood and vanillic fragrance. So mix all of those beautiful spices in with that vanilla base. Oof. This one is good, good. To me, it's giving a similar vibe to Tom Ford Noir Extreme, which is a fragrance I absolutely love. So just a reference point for you so you can kind of understand how it smells. And please take that similarity with a pinch of salt because it's just how I perceive it and what I feel like it smells similar to. And I just really love a vanillic spicy fragrance. It's got all of the notes I love in there. Nutmeg, cinnamon, cardamom, ginger, vanilla. So yeah, just a little bit of an update. I wanted to let you know that I absolutely love Spicy Delice. And last, but by no means least, we have a fragrance from Widian, and this one is called Number Two. And I absolutely love the packaging. I think it's so chic and classy, but the fragrance inside is, oof. This one to me is so intoxicating. It's exactly the type of scent profile that I adore. It has plum, it has vanilla, it has musk, it has a little bit of rose. I feel like this is a very alluring fragrance. You're gonna smell absolutely beautiful in this. The plum note up top is so, so juicy. It's not too dense and too sticky. It's more of a juicy opening. But then when that vanilla and that musk starts to come in, it balances it out and makes it a little bit softer. So there's no tartness within it to my nose anyway. You have the beautiful additional notes of sandalwood and rose 
which really ground this fragrance. It's not really too much of one thing. It's not too fruity, it's not too floral, it's not too musky, it's not too woody. It's just the perfect composition in my opinion. The notes are blended so seamlessly that I feel like not one in particular stands out. I just think this is a really appealing fragrance. I still need to play around with it a little bit more, but my first impressions have been very good thus far. If you do want to see a more detailed review of Widian 2, please do let me know and I will make sure to do that in a future video to come. But I had to include it here because it is one that I have absolutely been loving recently and I've reached for it quite a lot already. So that was everything that I wanted to show you today. Was there any fragrance specifically that stood out to you that you're maybe thinking of testing yourself or you might already own? it please do let me know down in the comments but what I want to know is what fragrances have you hauled recently please do let me know down in the comments because your recommendations are always so brilliant I will go out of my way to research them and I do often buy samples slash sometimes blind buy also but thank you so much for watching today it's been a pleasure as always I hope to see you all in a future video to come thank you and goodbye